Hi, this is Larry Schultz, and I just wanted to give you a quick little demonstration of just the, some of the versatility available in IK Boost. I've set up uh, this very simple example of what would be like upper body, like a spine. And here's a collarbone, here's a scapula, right back there in red, and then, like I said, the collarbones in green, just to sort of demonstrate this. And uh, this would be like the upper arm, and this would be the forearm, and here would be the rotational bones for the forearm. I've also got the controllers kind of pulled off um, to demonstrate something here in a second. And um, this would be like the wrist or the hand, whatever. <clears throat> so one of the things that, that you'll want to do when you're animating a character is, of course, have the ability to move it from side to side, and it can be done from any of these nodes here. So that the IK and the spine beh behaves pretty well. I can animate from here, I can grab up here. I can also grab from down here. But we're going to get our better control from up here, though I can easily go into any part of this and just say, uh, for example, IK stop, and just animate from here, or I can just uh, undo that, to, or change that. But but whatever motions I apply aren't affected because we're not applying motions to traditional goal objects. But here's where it gets really cool. <clears throat> we can go in here, and I set up these bones, the clavicle and the scapula, in there where they would kind of typically be. But what all I had to do was simply was target them to this bone here. So I've set this up so I can go in here with these IK stops. I got an IK stop here at the elbow, here at the shoulder, and here at the base of the clavicle, which would actually be over here, but it doesn't matter. So I can grab, like, say, here, and I can raise the shoulder, animate from here, and I can animate from here. So I can, here's, here's just the forearm, here's the upper arm, and here's the clavicle. <clears throat> but because I'm lazy, oh, excuse me, I mean efficient, I set, it, I set up this up so that these controllers here, I can control the whole arm from one spot, from right here. So for example, I can just control the elbow, the forearm, upper arm, and the shoulder, or the clavicle. So I can raise that, the whole shoulder girdle. And if you notice that the, the clavicle and the uh, scapula are following uh, where they should be. And again, this is a very simple setup, but it's amazing how you can just go in here and quickly, I can elevate the, the scapula, lower the shoulder, rotate the elbow. Very simple one, two, three operation. But uh, it's really amazing because any, none of these uh, controls are permanent. I can change them if I want to on the fly while I'm animating. This is just one of the really powerful features of... of uh, I keep boost.